we are given a delta network and we are asked to find out its equivalent y network okay so we have to do a delta to y conversion now we can it's possible to derive this how to convert without using any formulas but it is necessary that we must know the shorthand method to easily convert this because most of the time we can easily reduce a circuit by using this kind of conversions either delta to y or y to delta so we will first see how to convert from delta to y and we will also see how to convert in the opposite way i'll first draw the delta network let's say this is r1 we have already y there say this is ra this is rb and this is rc now it's important that you have to understand how this equation works rather than by hearting it as in terms of this ra rb and rc so let's say to convert it into equivalent y we have the y network like this okay this is r1 say this is r2 say this is r3 now to find out r1 what we are going to do is we will multiply the adjacent resistances that means we multiplied the adjacent resistances to find r1 and divided it by the sum of resistances of the delta that is ra plus rb plus rc so that's how we must remember these equations now how we can find out r2 we will take the product of ra and rc and divided by ra plus rb plus rc there is a sum of resistances similarly we can find out what is r3 r3 will be product of ra and rc divided by sum of the resistances ra plus rb plus rc so by using these three equations it is possible to easily convert this delta to y now we will see how we do the opposite conversion that is from y to delta now let's say we have r here okay to find this arm of delta what we are going to do is we have to first take the product of resistances taken two at a time that means the numerator will always be r1 r2 plus r2 r3 plus r1 r3 okay the numerator will be same for all the three resistances we have to find out that is it will be same for rb also similarly for rc also okay but the denominator will be the resistance opposite to it that means if we have to find out ra it will be r1 r2 plus r2 r3 plus r1 r3 divided by opposite resistance r3 okay now if we have to find out rb it will be the same numerator that means product of resistances taken two at a time divided by the resistance opposite to rp that will be divided by r2 so if you have any doubt you must we can you can also verify that the dimension should be same that numerator they must be the product of term that means ra rb must be there and you have to divide it by one resistance term that means ra plus rb plus rc to get the same unit or same dimension similarly here also we have the product of two at the numerator and you have to divide it by one resistance term to get the same units so that is how you can remember it so once again in delta to y conversion we have the numerator same that is the sum of resistances in this delta okay that is ra plus rb plus rc and the numerator will be the product of adjacent resistances now here the resistance will be 
sum of product of resistance is taken two at a time divided by the resistance opposite to it so that's why that's how we can solve this problem we have to multiply 5 ohm and 15 ohm 5 into 15 divided by the sum of resistances in the loop that is 15 plus 5 20 20 plus 30 that is 50 